Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my stock signals video for Thursday the 21st of March. So, something slightly different today. This, is, uh, this has gone out on my swing training membership today, but I wanted to use this multiple time frame view both using both our indi indicator suites, so the black box breakout indicator and the Elliott wave indicator as well. So, for going from left to right, we have the daily time frame. We've pulled back on a wave four found resistance in the amber zone there yesterday we had the big red day okay so we had increased volume using the black box breakout indicator uh, and we closed near the low so that uh, increased volume is red the cyan candles you see to the left there are down days but lower volume so we got a big volume down day and close near the lows yesterday so that's the black box breakout indicator given as a signal really at 57.76 with a stop loss at 60.82. Now that's quite wide. It only gives us a risk to reward uh, of one to one into the fifth wave target zone there, into the automated target zone. So this is the think or swim uh, version of our alley wave indicator suite and black box breakout indicator. It's also available for Ninja Trader and TradeStation. Uh, but combining these, we can see then on the next chart, we have got the four hourly time frame. So the last candle yesterday rejected those highs on high volume and gave us an even tighter signal now. A 58.23 entry short, 59.79 stop loss. Again, that's automatic on our black box breakout indicator. Now, I like this one a lot. It gives us a lot better risk to reward into uh, our target zone of over one to two there. So a lot tighter stop and entry, really looking for that bearish momentum to continue with uh, you know force today with increased volume. Now, the right hand chart here is the 60 minute time. You can see intraday we've pulled back on the wave four as well. And it looks like we wanna go down and make that new wave five low into the automated target zone there as well. So as you can see, both on the daily time frame and intraday, on the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we can confirm overall we're in a, a main bearish trend. How can we do that? We look at our multiple time frame dot cloud at the bottom of each subcharts there, they're all red. So even on the daily time frame here, the two day, the three day, the four day, and the weekly, they're all below our EMA cloud, denoting a very strong bearish trend. The multiple time frames on the four hour and on the intraday are all below the cloud, so all red. So this is setting up really strong bearish uh, move there, overall strong bearish. We look on the four hour, which we're gonna set the, the, the trade up properly, so let's go there now. Uh, again, we use a lot of things to uh, look at the performance of this wave four as well. So going back to the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we need to measure the performance of this wave four. And this, this is this oscillator pullback here. That has to be between 19 and 140%. So I'll just measure that right now. Very, very simple. There we go. Okay, so I just measured that and we can see now that the pullback on the wave four on the oscillator is between 19 and 140%. Then we look at the performance of the wave four on the stochastic. Now, the stochastic backs up our uh, multiple time frame dot cloud here in that we've got the, gr the, the yellow bar at the bottom denoting a very strong bearish move. When the stochastic pulls back against there in the overbought zone, then crosses over, it is likely it wants to return to that main bearish trend and form another yellow line at the bottom here with false breakouts. So all in all, this is looking really, really strong for a potential short here on CNC. So remember on the daily, it was a little bit too conservative that, um, that entry, but I got an entry yesterday. That last four hour candle yesterday rejected the highs on high volume and printed automatically on our black box breakout indicator the entry of 58.23. So that's what I'm going to take, 58.23 short. Uh, 59.79, nice stop loss there. We're only interested in the breakout to the downside, but we're confirming that bearish move because it's a fifth wave move on multiple time frames there. So we've got this high probability move into our automated target zone here for that fifth wave around about 54.50. So we're just looking for a one way move. We're not looking for any pullbacks. We're just looking for that momentum to continue to the downside into today's session. So that's CNC. Uh, Set the trade up uh, with the trigger with the entry on the four hour time frame, but confirmed and something I cover in my elite training course is multiple time frames. Looking at the daily, 
the, the four hour, the 60 minute, 15 minute, that sort of thing, really to confirm and look for those really high probability traits. So this is a great example of something I teach in my elite training course. So just a reminder, CNC, four hour, short, 5823, stop, 5979. So have a great training day. Speak to you all very soon.